How's it going, everybody? Um, good afternoon, and uh, I wanted to, again, I figured, I was thinking about what am I going to say, and, and I've got some things I want to say. I was like, but you know what? I have not made a zombie reference in a while, so um, I figured I, I had an, a, there was an obligatory, um, I, was, uh, I was obliged to bring up another zombie movie again. <laughs> um, no, but I was I was in chapel for a couple minutes before before coming back over to record this uh, reflection and chaplet, and I was thinking about my morning. And today I actually had a pretty productive morning, and it was just kind of like boom, boom, boom. Um, I got uh, uh, I got some stuff done in the office this morning, which was uh, um, pretty good. I have. Um, a significant amount of things I still need to accomplish. Um, but my point uh, in all of, of that is not to you know, say, what was me, what was me? But um, I was just thinking about this morning as compared to many of the other mo Wednesday mornings that I have had and how, uh, how much more rewarding it is to just keep moving forward and you're recognizing that you may not get everything done you need to get done, but you'll get something. Getting something done is better than not getting anything done. And, you know, it's easy to just kind of get sucked into that vortex of, you know, and, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just speaking to myself, you know, that vortex of, of you know, sloth and self-pity and all, and, and you just get, it just gets more and more piled up. And the higher the pile gets, the more overwhelmed you get. And, and at the end of the day, you know, to quote my mom, you know, how do you eat an elephant? You know, one bite at a time. You just got to jump in and do what you can and move forward. And that was kind of going through my mind, that need to, to be in constant motion. Movimiento uh, is vida, is what I said um, for this, for this, the name of this talk. And I'm going to put, put the English translation on it as well. Movement is life. And, and, um, it reminded me, and here we go. Are you ready for it? Brace yourself. It reminded me of the movie World War Z. <clears throat> and there's a scene at the beginning of the movie um, where Brad Pitt's character, he works for CDC or I, he works for some, he works for the UN. And uh, they're in uh, New York City or something like that. And it, 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 those zombies are just destroying the city. And they find themselves barricaded in this, you know, top story you know this this high level on this apartment complex with this hispanic family and it's like a, a husband a, a husband and a wife and i think a kid a, a son um maybe a son and a daughter and then they have brad pitt's wife he and his wife and their kid their daughter i believe uh or two daughters i think but um and he is he's explaining he said you know i've done a lot of work um overseas and they've been in places and movement is life you know the, the, the when families when they may, may move through things they survive and he kind of he goes when families stay put and he kind of trails off and doesn't finish that statement and then says movement is life movimiento es vida you know movement is life and it really got me thinking, you know, in this situation, in the context of this movie, you know, moving his life in the sense that if you stay put, the zombies are eventually are going to break through whatever defense you have and kill you and eat you and, um, and, and you're going to die. You, and we ha you have to keep moving and stay one step ahead. But I think that's also a very um, impactful statement in our lives that we have to keep moving. Now, let me qualify that. I'm going to qualify that in a minute because that can also be a very dangerous, dangerous way to think if not, if not um, practice properly. But I'll get to that in a minute, the qualification. But let's, let's first establish the, the principle. Movement is life. We have to keep moving. So this morning, you know, I got up. Thankfully, I had coffee ready. Didn't get up quite as early as I wanted, but I got up. I, I, I got my coffee. I, I started in on my office work, you know, and, and I had to make this call. And I made that call and checked this email and checked that email and this, that, and the other. And 
talk to this. And, and it was kind of one of those moments where it was just kind of like one after another, boom, 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 boom. And then it was like, ah, I need to do my prayers. So I stepped aside. I did my prayers, you know, I did some of my morning prayers and, and some other prayers. And I like, okay, I gotta, I gotta make sure I gotta do that later. And then I, and then I got back and I did this and this and, and, and I got some stuff done this morning. Now, um, there was movement. There was a movement. And did I get everything done that I needed to get done? Did everything get everything done on my desk that um, can be done? No. But I did something. I made progress in some way. I moved through it. And sometimes you just got to start moving. Um, otherwise, you're going to die. You know, you... You get stuck, again, like I said, in that self-pity, in that lethargicness, uh, that slothfulness where you're just kind of like, you lose energy and you lose the will to keep moving forward. And that can be very dangerous. Now, again, we have to be careful when we say movement is life because, because um, the tendency, and I think I said this in a previous video, the virtues and the means, right, in the middle, the tendency is to say, okay, uh, movement is life. I've got to move at every moment. And I've got to get out of work and I've got to work and I've got to work. And then what you end up doing is working yourself to death. And so the qualification is, what is movement? And so there's multiple different types of movement. There's physical movement. There's active movement. There's, there's all, you know, you know, office movement. There's, there's communication movement. There's relationships movement. But there's also a movement of prayer and a movement of the heart. And so sometimes, you know, we have to sit down and physically stop moving so that we can shift into a different type of movement, a movement of prayer and a movement of the heart, and a movement toward the Lord. And so, you know, sometimes we have to stop working so that we can take a breath, rest, and pray. Because prayer is a form of movement. Prayer is a form of movement. It's not an, a worldly act. You know, prayer is not going to answer your emails. Prayer is not going to address that stack of, of papers that you need to go through on your desk. Or sign checks. Or whatever. But it's actually a greater movement because the better we can move, make, make progress in our spiritual life, the more that will bring tranquility to the other forms of movement in our life. And so to be mindful of, of the need to stop and pray and give the Lord his time so that 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 spiritual movement toward the Lord can always take precedence and enrich those other forms of movement. So that when you are doing physical movement, you know, exercise or, you know, movement in, in building relationships or movement in doing office work or, or fulfilling the responsibilities that you have to do every day, because that movement of prayer and of, of that movement, the spiritual movement is active, it will inform those other forms of movement. When Christ is at the center, all of the other things in our lives fall into their proper order. And so, ultimately, again, movement is life. Movement, spiritual movement is life that infuses and informs all the other forms of movement and aspects of life um, that make up our, our daily lives. So remember that. Um, when you if, you if you're in that moment where you're, 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 you feel down or you feel lethargic or you feel, you know, in that dr dryness, to, to do something, to, you know, just move. Just move. 
Let's make the sign of the cross. Say a Hail Mary. Pick up your rosary. You know, pick up your Bible. Read two verses. Reading two verses in a Bible, in your Bible, is better than reading no verses. Praying one Hail Mary is better than praying no Hail Marys. You know, making the sign of the cross and saying, Lord, help me, is better than not reaching out at all. And recognize the Lord is saying, all right, I will take whatever you give me and I will work with it and I will help you have the energy and the focus and the desire to keep moving forward. So, movimiento is vida. Movement is life. So, let us turn to our Lord in prayer and ask for that grace to keep moving toward His divine mercy. And the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We give you thanks, Lord, for all the gifts that you have given us. We ask you to continue to uh, send your, your divine mercy upon each and every one of us. That we may be immersed in that, the warmth of those rays, your rays. The rays coming out of your heart as we see in, in this image, this beautiful image of divine mercy. We ask for strength um, in our daily tasks and responsibilities to be faithful to them. Uh, that we may be faithful to our, our, our daily prayer for all of our loved ones and those we promise to pray for, those are, who are of greatest concern in our heart, for all of our medical professionals, uh, nurses, doctors, technicians, and all those who assist, um, those who care for the sick and serve the sick, for their protection and strength and energy, for polit our political leaders, for our bishops and our, our Holy Father, for our priests and deacons, and for all, all the whole body of the church, that we may be filled with life, um, protected and strengthened uh, by your love. And for everybody else we promise to pray for. You expire, Jesus, for the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, Envelop the whole world and empty yourself upon us. For blood and water who gush forth from the heart of Jesus is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus is a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, full body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. And on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, in whom mercy is in us and the treasury of compassion and inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy on us, that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, and be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits, who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O most sacred heart Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Mary conceived without sin, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Faustina, pray for us. St. Je- Saint Andrew, St. Francis Xavier, and all our patron saints, pray for us. Father Cape and all the angels and saints in heaven, pray for us. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me this afternoon for our chaplet and reflection. Um, may God bless you. Keep you safe. Keep you happy. Love you. Keep praying for me and, and my brother priests. And um, I'll see you on the next video. God bless.